Hi, welcome. My name is Nancy and I got an in zone 4. It's the middle of June here in Minnesota. So I'm going to give you a tour of my front yard. Okay, let's get started. And we will start here in my circle garden. This garden gets a lot of sun. So here you can see I have, uh, we'll start here with um, Espirea. And actually I'm going to show you my pot that is full of coleus. Isn't that pretty? And then this Espirea. I think this one is called Princess, Little Princess. And look at those bloom. And then there's a cabinet called Walker's Law. We'll go back to that later. And this geranium is called Roseanne. And look at those beautiful purple flowers. And this is one of the perennials that once it starts blooming, it will not stop blooming until the fall. So this is one that you want to have. And there's my container with my petunias. And this is a small cabinet. And there's a cone flower. And that's the powwow and my daisy. More cone flowers, and I also have a black eye susan in the mix here. That's another geranium. There is, um, yeah, look at those blooms, beautiful. I have um, lantana, some annuals there. I have three lantanas. And this is a salvia. Almost done blooming. The hosta is called earth angel. I did a change on this side of the garden. There were two hostas. Uh, and then I replaced them with uh, Stella de Oro, the lily, and an Espirea. I think this looks much better, don't you think? I think so. Right? And then is um, Golden Tiara Hosta. I have another container here with some colored brachia. There's some mums there by the container. Uh, some lilies. And this hosta here is uh, called Francie. And there's the white chingla that is done blooming. Here's that I wanted to show you. This is called Walker's Law Cadmint. Beautiful. So now we're going to go to the garden in front of my porch. This is uh, Stella de Oro. This is another change that I did. I took out the hosta from this side and replace it with the Daily Listella de Oro. If you have watched my previous video, I had those two Estella de Oros right in front of the porch by the walkway and they were getting too big, so I decided to move them. And this is a uh, Gold Mound Spirea. Booming. Another container, which I think I need to water a little dry. Then I have, um, Iris, uh, Juga, my Liberty Hosta, beautiful as usual, and I have Aston Roses that I planted in the early spring, surrounded by Coleus and an Allium. I have my Walker Slow Catman here. And I have a Magilla, a little Magilla in there.
Yeah, so there's some hosta here. I added some melissum. If you can see that. There's the Aspirea. My container. Some ground covers. And I added some petunia here, but I had to cover with a course, right? <laughs> the rabbit. There's the Minuteman hostas. And the um, little lime hydrangea in the back. So let's go to this side of the garden. So I have this one I added to, so I added some annuals, I'll show in a little bit. This is my container. Uh, lilies. That will probably bloom in next week. I hope so. And I added an annual salvia there. It's not blooming yet. I have a, a lissum and a verbena, pink verbena. There's the campanula. My dianthus. my Barberry Orange Rocket more Minuteman Hostas and this is my Endless Summer Hydrangea has just one bloom I think this one gets a lot of sun I've been planning to move it but I haven't had a time another Dianthus and the Pingeni my Barberry I have three pots here, and yeah, that one of those uh, hostas was not doing well. Uh, Francy hosta and satisfaction hosta, that beautiful big hosta. I have I have a hanging basket there, and I have um. My coleus in a pot, which I overwintered, you guys. If you want to check out my video about a coleus that I overwintered last fall. Uh, Patriot Hosta there. Uh, hydrangea in the summer. Uh, some little blooms there. Yes. Um, salvia. And I did a video about planting uh, supertunias. I have a uh, supertunia honey and supertunia daybreak charm. If you want to check it out, Isn't that beautiful. Can't wait until it all fills in. It will look beautiful. Last year I I had a um, just a uh, yellow petunia. They look pretty. But I haven't tried actually super tunias in the ground. I had only grown them in pots or containers. So we'll see. And I have still a lady's mantle. There's the coleus infernal. Infernal, the bleeding heart. And this is the honey super tunia. And there is a wide brim hosta. And this is the endless summer. Look at these beautiful blooms, you guys. The one at the bottom is pink white color. There is a bleeding heart that is done dying out. Now let's go to the other side. And this is the this is in the property line border. I have some lilies. I have my uh, spruce, blue spruce, saphiro, uh, penstemon, Dakota burgundy. Behind that I have my pinky winky hydrangea. And I have Alien Sun Blooming, the Nine Bark Ginger, 
my Joe Pie weed. Here I have my guacamole pasta. Lilies. My hydrant. Oh, this one is the Espiria, the Big Bang. This was a seedling. Uh, two years ago. Then I have another hosta. My Waijila. One little bloom left over. My thumb and substance hosta and my Christmas tree. And that's my fake bunny. Tell me what's blooming in your zone right now down in the comments below. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.